Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is a live series that we're going through on Java, and this is Lesson 1. And when we're done with this series, we'll start the Lesson 2. When there's questions from the student, you will not be able to hear them, but I'll actually will be typing those in the screen. And so go ahead and read those, and that will be the context of what I'm answering. So thanks for listening, and let's get started. And right here, I'm going to do something that's very interesting. I'm actually going to divide the number of men by three, but guess what? I'm not going to get a decimal. I can't because what? I declare this as an integer. So if I declare something as an integer and I divide it by something and it comes out as a decimal, it will turn it back into an integer because it's strict type. Remember what Java is doing. When it's strict types, it's only giving you a certain number of bits. So you can't have a real number, I mean a, a decimal number. It's only going to give you an integer back, so it'll take that away from you. You may remember this very important uh, thing right here, which is uh, called the modulus. And what the modulus does is gives you the remainder. The modulus is an extremely important device. You'll use it over and over again in coding. It's, and it, it's actually, I've used modulus and actually reduced code by three pages. I've seen people do some really sloppy coding. And, and you, with the modulus, sometimes you can do something really slick and, and, and just take out like hundreds of lines of code. Just remember it's important. It gives you the remainder. And many times when you're doing iterative loops, you just need to know the remainder to know when you need to go to the next, next loop. Okay, and so that's what the modules will give you. Hey, and that's all the code I got right there. Isn't that fantastic? Did I give you enough stuff this time? I'm giving you more next time. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna load you up, man. <laughs> That's fine as long as you got your computers, your hands or your fingers are still typing. We're good. <laughs> Absolutely, I want you to review all these classes, and I want you to write the gravity calculator if you can. Finish it. Now, if you forget, you got the word document I sent you. It's all in the word document. And of course, I want you to go through all the code that I wrote, you know, on lesson one. No, actually, what I want to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add five. One second. I just want you to review all the lesson code. That's what we, essentially, what we just did when we went through Eclipse. It's that's all the lesson code right there. Right. Correct. That's it. All right. Great. So I'll see, see you in about two weeks, right?